Hello guys, welcome back. Today is August 12, 2020. We're going to do our devotion for today. Our title for today's devotional is Plow the Ground. We're going to read from Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 1 through 4. And we are going to start our devotional with a prayer. Let's pray and then we are going to do our reading. Father God, we please you, uh, we pray you, and we thank you for all the blessings that you have pretty much put it in our heart and blessings pretty much you put before us and we thank you because you are good because you are our god and we want to do everything that you want us to do we want to be everything you want us to be and please help us to do so because without you we won't be able to do it we won't be able to do anything um, we place uh, pray the every single one who's watching this video and receive all the blessings that you already have for them and uh, please 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 be with us uh, because we need you we need you more than ever and uh, bless every single boy and girl that's watching the, that is watching the, the video and everyone who's watching the video as well helping to answer the questions at the end of the video and um helping to uh, understand the word of god your word in the name of jesus i ask you these things amen and amen Let's read from uh, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 1 through 4. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 1, all the way through verse 4. says, If you, Israel, will return, then return to me, declares the Lord. If you put your de detestable idols out of my sight, and no longer go astray, and if in a truthful, just and righteous way, you swear as sure surely as the Lord lives that the nations will invoke blessings by him and in him they will boast this is what the Lord says to the people of Judah and Jerusalem break up your unplowed, unplowed ground and do not sow among thorns circumcise yourself to the Lord circumcise your heart you people of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem or my wrath will flare up and burn like fire because of the evil you have done burn with no one to quench it always I would recommend you guys to read the whole chapter okay but the the scripture is uh, pretty much uh, it's a whole whole picture I need you to read the whole chapter and we're gonna read that um, we're gonna read our devotional now it says Human arteries are meant to be flexible and elastic. Over time, a poor diet, lack of exercise, health complication, or even genetics can cause fats, cholesterol, and other things to build up in the arteries, causing them to become rigid and hardened and restrict healthy blood flow, a condition known as atherosclerosis. The blood is available, but due to the artery hardness, it, it cannot flow to give life. Like arteries, so soil can also become hard and ineffective and and at producing life. This is what the Lord said to the people of Judah, Judah and Jerusalem. And, Je and Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 3 and 4 says, Break up your unplugged ground and not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourself to the Lord. Circumcise your hearts. You people of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, or my wrath will flare up and burn like a fire because of the evil you have done. Burn with no one to quench it. It, it is really uh, um, amazing how things uh, got uh, things that God says on His Word. Now. Godly kings and prophets try to turn the nation back to God, but their hearts of the people have become hardened to His Word. You can read or heard the Bible on a regular basis, but if your heart is hardened by the buildup of sin, the Word won't be able to penetrate and bring life. Only by removing the heart hardening sin will you find life. Fortunately, Jesus came to take care of that problem. 
turn to him and let him cleanse you of sin and bring life remember what we just read and I need you to answer these two questions question number one what things have hardened your heart to God's Word what things have hardened your heart to God's Word question number two can you make your heart more receptive to God or how can you make your heart more receptive to God how can you make your heart more receptive to God answer these two questions under comments and I will see you next time thank you very much God bless you guys